Hi, for those who don't know me, my name is Nick Astell, and this is my vision speech presentation. To begin, I thought I'd give you a little insight on who I am and what it is I currently do. For the last decade, I've worked in the world of financial planning. Some would argue that I was always meant for this, but I genuinely never felt that way. You see, I grew up in a family of financial planners. Granted, the title financial planner has changed dramatically over the years. Every night at dinner, I would hear things like, the price of Apple hit this, or did you see treasury yields spike in the afternoon? Needless to say, hardly the kind of talk that would inspire anyone to want to enter into the field. From what I'd seen in movies like Wall Street and Boiler Room, it seemed like the kind of profession whose only job was to help the super rich remain, well, super rich. When I left for college when I was 18, I really had no idea what it is I wanted to do. I was always told by my parents to get a business degree. It's incredibly versatile. So I did just that. I was good with numbers and figured if I didn't really know what it is I wanted to do, I might as well do something, quote unquote, safe. Four years went by and I got that business degree. I took the next four months off to do volunteer work with my girlfriend at the time in Fiji. But as soon as I returned back to the States, I was ready to enter into the workforce. Who wouldn't want to hire a freshly minted 22-year-old with no work experience? Well, the year was 2008, and as you may have heard, things were rough. I must have interviewed at over 50 different places those first few months. Not surprisingly, no one was hiring. I finally turned to my parents for advice. Did they have anyone who might want to hire me? My dad suggested why didn't I come work for him. I cringed at the thought. At the time, he had recently retired from upper management to assist my mother's budding business in Palm Springs, California. I was going to leave New York for Palm Springs? Needless to say, I was less than thrilled. Having to live in a city with my parents, doing something I'd always at least thought I hated, I couldn't think of anything worse. Regardless, I needed the money, and off I went. I figured I'd do it for a few years, save some money, the economy would turn, and that dream job would emerge. Never in a million years did I assume that aforementioned dream job would be standing right in front of me. I spent the next six months studying intensely. I passed my Series 7, 63, and insurance exams, and I was off. During those first six months, I wasn't able to speak to any of my parents' clients that I would inevitably be assisting. Quite frankly, when I heard some of their names over the dinner table, I don't think I'd even met any of them. I just assumed they all looked at like the Monopoly man, monocle and all. But a strange thing happened once I started to meet our clients. These were real people with real problems whom I actually liked. It wasn't just old, rich people driving Bentleys and eating caviar. The client base reached from young families hoping to plan for their kids' college education to retirees who needed assistance with crafting trusts to leave inheritance to their children and grandchildren. This wasn't anything like I'd ever envisioned. After a few months, I realized this wasn't just going to be a job for me, but a fulfilling career where I could change lives for the better. And to do so, I was going to take this seriously, and I was going to do everything in my power to help these people. I was working hard, putting in the hours, and trying to learn everything I could about my profession, and most importantly, my clients. I spent countless hours those first few years on the phone. I knew that in order to provide my clients with superior service, we needed to be on the same page. I wanted them to know me just as well as I knew them. I believe that an essential element of a good financial plan is crafting a strategy together. I am simply a steward to their assets. With their risk tolerance in mind, I navigate the financial waters, but they need to tell me where they want to go. I understand that while I'll never be truly part of the family, I want my clients to look at me as if they can trust me like family. I consider myself a 24-7 concierge service. If there's something that's troubling them in their financial lives, or even their personal lives, I want to be notified. After several years of working for a major Wall Street firm, I realized that my values were starting to diverge from that of the firm's. An important part of my vision statement is helping my clients choose strategies and investments that align with their personal preference. While the firm had provided many wonderful resources throughout the year, exorbitant fees, the style of business, and a push of proprietary ter products felt terribly wrong. Not to mention, socially responsible was not a phrase you wanted to use in my manager's office. At that point, my team and I decided to take our practice into independent and align with Commonwealth, whose tagline is here on the right. Our clients couldn't have been happier. Fees were lower, and clients were able to purchase any investment of their liking. A big part of our practice caters to people who want to invest in products that leave the world a better place. We have crafted several strategies that won't include elements of tobacco and oil, some that are catered just to climate action, while others invest in companies that are socially responsible. Many of these strategies have actually outperformed their indexes, 
and provide clients with peace of mind that they're investing in a better tomorrow. We are a progressive company and we want our clients to understand our values. The following is my vision statement. I will positively impact my clients' lives with sound advice, hard work, and a clear path with options for socially responsible investing. Together, we will craft a plan that helps them transition into the ideal retirement lifestyle they so rightfully deserve. With the guidance of this vision, we have been able to build a practice that we are happy to come to work to day in and day out. It has enabled us to provide our clients with exceptional service and a better path to their goals. It has also given us the freedom to do the things that our prior firm had not. Not to mention, not being shackled to my desk 60 plus hours a week has provided me with opportunities I never could have originally envisioned. I can now do things that aren't just beneficial for my clients and myself, but for me as a human. With the assistance of my team members, we have sponsored several breast cancer runs on behalf of my mother and donated a portion of our profits every year to the Humane Society of San Diego. Thank you. <laughs> this is my cat, Olive, and she certainly couldn't be more happy that I get to be able to spend more time with her and her friends at the Humane Society. She's a little camera shy. Regardless, we adopted her a couple weeks ago, and she's been an important element of our life. Anyways... I hope you enjoyed my vision statement and most importantly, what it means to be a financial planner to me. Thank you so much.